Hi everyone. In this week ahead in financial markets, my attention will be on whether the major Forex pairs will continue their recent decline. So this week I'll talk about why the Euro dollar pair is at a 2021 low and while doing so, I'll talk about non-farm payrolls as the highlight of this week's economic calendar and impact of quarter end rebalancing. GKFX Prime presents the week ahead. First up, we've got the euro dollar chart. So do you remember five weeks ago I asked if rising bond yields would send the euro dollar under 1.20? Well, the answer was a resounding yes. Looking at the weekly chart, we can see the pullback has gone beyond the previous high from August. So that means the next major level to test is the previous low near 1.16. On the daily chart, the euro dollar has closed below its 200 day moving average, which is one indication the trend has turned bearish. By the way, if you find this video helpful guys, please feel free to show your appreciation by smashing that like button. Now, the highlight of the weekly economic calendar is non-farm payrolls on Friday, but there are some other things to watch first. CPI data from Germany and Europe could have a short-term effect on the euro dollar, but the ECB just agreed to do lots more bond buying over the next three months, so inflation isn't going to affect policy near term. As far as NFP goes, we're expecting a rise to 500,000 jobs created in March, up from 379,000 in February. Now, keep in mind when trading the dollar, that good data is inflationary. That pushes up bond yields and helps the dollar, but is also good for global growth, so the dollar will be less in demand as a haven. I think it's worth talking about the Europe side of things first. The vaccine rollout across the Eurozone has been a real disappointment and is causing problems. Several European countries made plans for tighter Covid restrictions over the spring, knocking belief in economic recovery. Europe and the Euro dollar stand to do well when economies are fully reopened. The dollar will do well and the Euro dollar will likely do worse if it looks like Europe won't have enough people vaccinated to allow travel during summer holidays. From the US perspective, the just passed US stimulus bill is a major boon and means expectations for growth in the US are much higher relative to Europe. All last week, Federal Reserve officials talked about how interest rates in the US won't go up soon, but markets still think they will go up sooner than in Europe, so the dollar is rising. I think something I'll be talking about more in the coming weeks is whether rising taxes in the US will negatively affect the dollar. But shorter term, something to look out for this week is month and quarter end rebalancing. Basically, it's the end of the quarter and that means hedge funds and mutual funds will need to sell some of what's done well and buy some of what's cheaper. A lot of them have a fixed bond to stock ratio that they are supposed to keep, which means because bonds have fallen a lot in the last quarter, there may be a need to rebalance their portfolios by buying more bonds and selling stocks. So if a big sell-off in equity markets were to occur, that is probably bullish for the dollar and bearish for the euro dollar pair. Right, thanks everyone. Good luck trading this week and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of the week ahead.